Na example that here, evaluate the integral of sine inverse of x dx over square root of 1 minus x squared. So you can see what is in the domain is actually the derivative of sine inverse of x, isn't it? So if you let u to be sine inverse of x, if you differentiate u with respect to x, you get differentiating sine inverse of x, you simply get 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared, isn't it? You take dx the other side, you remain with du is dx over square root of 1 minus x squared. So you go to your problem, you were given to integrate sine inverse of x dx over square root of 1 minus x squared. So you can see sine inverse of x is u, you substitute, so you are integrating u. Then dx over square root of 1 minus x squared is du. So it's like you are integrating u du, isn't it? So if you integrate u, that is u squared over 2 plus c. You simply add 1 to the power, you derive by the certain power, polynomial, isn't it? Yeah. Then you substitute your u. What is u? Sine inverse of x. So u squared over 2 is a half u squared. So it means it is a half u squared, but u is, u is sine inverse of x squared. Then plus your arbitrary integration constant. 